Hi friends, in this lecture we will discuss forced harmonic oscillator and the terms Q factor and resonance. In the last two lectures we studied the harmonic oscillator and damped harmonic oscillator. Here we will study the simplest version of the forced harmonic oscillator that is undamped forced harmonic oscillator. We found that in the absence of frictional force, a harmonic oscillator continues its oscillations. Now, if we apply an external periodic force of the form f of t is equal to f0 cos omega t on this harmonic oscillator, what will be the result? How will be the oscillating system? In that case, the equation of motion becomes mx double dot plus kx equal to f0 cos omega t. Previously, in the case of simple harmonic oscillator, it was equal to 0. Here, this F0 cos omega t is called the driving force. The result is that eventually the system oscillates with the angular frequency of the peri this periodic force omega and with an amplitude A is equal to F0 by k minus m omega square where this k is we know that this k is m omega 0 square so that we can take an outside this m so this is equal to f 0 by m 1 by omega 0 square minus omega square that is the solution of the forced harmonic oscillator is x equal to a cos omega t where this a is this one so this is equal to f0 by m 1 by omega 0 square minus omega square cos omega t here we will see what is quality factor in the case of damped harmonic oscillator the degree of damping can be understood from quality factor where this quality factor is defined as Q is equal to energy stored in the oscillator divided by energy dissipated per radian where we know that this radian this is equivalent to 1 radian where this round cycle is 2 pi radian so this part is 1 by 2 pi of the 360 degree and also the time to complete one complete oscillation is the period t so that the time to oscillate through one radian will be delta t is equal to 1 by 2 pi of the period t that is t by 2 pi where for the case of damped harmonic oscillator, this t will be 2 pi omega 1, where this 2 pi get cancelled, so this is equal to 1 by omega 1. For the case of damped harmonic oscillator, the rate of change of energy or the rate of decrease of energy can be represented by dE by dt where we know that E is equal to E0 e raised to minus gamma t therefore dE by dt becomes minus gamma E0 e raised to minus gamma t that is minus gamma into E so the energy dissipated in the time delta t will be this dE by dt into delta t which is equal to this dE by dt is minus gamma E. So taking the modulus, that is the magnitude only, this gamma E into delta T. 
that is this delta t is 1 by omega 1 that is gamma e by omega 1 now the quality fact factor can be written as q is equal to e by gamma e by omega 1 that is the energy stored in the oscillator divided by the energy dissipated per radian where this e gets cancelled and this omega 1 goes to the numerator so this becomes omega 1 by gamma in the case of lightly damped case this omega 1 also can be approximated as omega 0 so this is equal to omega 0 by gamma for lightly damped case lightly damped oscillator this will be a very larger quantity since this gamma is very small so this becomes much much greater than one generally for the tuning fork the quality factor is of the order of thousand somewhat greater than thousand generally for the superconducting microwave cavity where the damping is very very small the quality factor is very very larger that is of the order of 10 to the power 7 or greater than for the case of undamped oscillator this becomes infinity since the energy dissipated becomes zero the quality factor becomes now infinity. we will see what is resonance for the case of forced harmonic oscillator we found that the amplitude is f0 by k minus m omega square where this k was m omega 0 square so that this can be written as f0 by m 1 by omega 0 square minus omega square so this is the representation of the change in amplitude with respect to change in omega when we change the omega continuously what happens to the amplitude initially that is when this omega is less than omega 0 this omega is less than omega 0 this is a positive quantity so the amplitude increases in positive direction when omega is equal to omega 0 that is the frequency of the driving force is equal to the natural frequency of the oscillator the amplitude becomes infinity since this becomes 0 1 by 0 becomes infinity so this this is now when this omega is greater than this omega 0 square again this becomes a negative quantity and this terms becomes decreasing with respect to further increase in omega so practically the amplitude becomes very very large when omega is equal to omega 0 and the condition is known as resonance here we can also note that by switching the frequency through the resonance that is changing the frequency from this point to this point the amplitude phase change by 180 degree that is a negative sign is introduced so this is about the resonance okay thank you for